Welcome everybody, my name's Gran, and welcome to Speak Tutor. I'm here to tell you that you're never really too old to start game development. I sometimes sneak on my grandson's computer and mess around with his Unity files, but don't tell him. There might be a big question as to why I've got a few extra hairs on my chin. I mean, it's been a cold winter this year. Gran, you better not be messing around with this stuff on the PC again. <laughs> Hey guys, sorry about that little interruption. Like my grand said, we're going to ask that question of are you ever actually too old to start being a game developer, learning game development, programming, whatever side of that needs to be. It sounds really cliche, age is just a number. And you've got to remember that you can take up any hobby at any age. Remember, game development a lot of the times is a lot of sitting there and experimenting. And as long as you've got the patience to do it, it doesn't matter what age you are, whether you're a 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way up to 100 years old, you could start doing it if you really wanted to. There's so, so much content online, whether you watch me, whether you watch some of the other great YouTubers, find some of the courses online directly through Unity, you could pick up anything you want as long as you put some time into it. And yeah, I think we can all understand that you can often learn much better when you're younger because you absorb the knowledge as you grow up much faster. And of course, a lot of people have different aptitudes for taking in knowledge and understanding different concepts, whether that's surrounding programming, whether that's surrounding art, just depends what type of person you are. Do any of those people that you're talking to want a biscuit? Gran, this is going out to thousands of people. They probably don't even know what a biscuit is. I don't think that playing games and developing games is such a younger generation thing. I've grown up with video games, I've grown up with development, and I will carry on for the longest time, just as you would see big developers uh, you know, big studios now will get all the way into their 40s, 50s years old, maybe even get management places. I think if you enjoy something and you want to take and get the most out of it, sit down, take some tutorials and you can make something incredible. It doesn't matter what age you are. There's plenty of people who've made millions even after they've got out of their you know, 20s or 30s. I know quite a lot of the subscribers to my channel are in the 30 to 40 plus age group, there's a small percentage who are 60 plus, and it's amazing to see that everybody of every age can enjoy games because it doesn't discriminate for age, sex, gender, whatever that may be. It's just an amazing thing to get into, and I think that if you want to, you should just grab it with both hands and do it. And you'd never know what could do it. It might be your long lost career you never thought you wanted to do. So really, it's one of those rhetorical questions that it makes it up to you for you to decide what you want to take from it, what you want to achieve, and always set yourself a goal to be able to learn something and push yourself to be the best you can be. So you can always check out my tutorials to learn and get started with Unity, especially my C Sharp courses, some of the other great YouTubers from around the world. Be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 115 different scripts and projects you can't find anywhere else. Come and chat to me on Discord, even if you want to chat about getting started, no matter what age you are. And check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, Gran, would you put that down for one minute? <laughs> See you soon.